Welcome back, and I'm very happy to talk you through all the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes. Here you are looking at the second to final prototype for the Emperor Throne Room, uh, the Detolf scale. This is more of a proof of concept to see that we could do the entire 3D window in metal. Um, as you can see, it's still not painted, and there are some details and engravings missing on the floor and the back wall. Uh, also, we're missing the wall that surrounds the window that needs to block out the starry sky. And as you can see, we need a bigger graphic to include in the box for the starry sky. But we're getting close. We're also going to include the consoles or try to include the consoles um, uh, that emit the blue light in the scenes to see how far we can get there. Um, this is closer to the actual paint color we're going to be using. This is the pattern we're going to be uh, using on the floor, which is the exact pattern you see in the movie. And uh, we're also really making progress on the chair. This is the uh, second to final prototype of that. Still need to paint the cushions, uh, the seat cushions in a purple. And we're going to try and add actual LED lights to the chair, which is going to make it the best chair, the coolest chair uh, ever. And um, so uh, that is uh, coming both in the detail scale and in the actual true scale size, which is the uh, IKEA Besta size, which we'll talk about more in the next part of the video. All right, so let me take you through our thought process for the design of the true scale uh, Tantive diorama. Uh, the true scale is uh, something that we're trying out for uh, these next two dioramas, so the Emperor Throne Room and the Tantive Corridor, uh, where we won't be limited by the size of a Detolf or Detolf, whatever you call it, uh, and get as close to 1-6 scale as possible. Now that's very possible for the Tantive design, uh, even with some room to spare. Um, and from our previous experiences, we did think it is a good idea to think about display options when you design this. So uh, it turns out that the IKEA Besta and IKEA Stuva are uh, great platforms to design 1-6 scale and true 1-6 scale. Uh, and so those uh, two dioramas we're talking about here will be designed uh, so that they will fit inside those uh, cabinets, even if you have hinges and use doors. So that leaves us with a uh, net uh, size of uh, 533 millimeters in width and the height that is required uh, to be one uh, six scale is 460 millimeters. So that's somewhere around 21 inches and 18 inches. And um, the thing is if you design larger, um, you can't easily take depth and scale that up as, as well, because most cabinets uh, and display uh, cases don't go beyond, well, most uh, won't go beyond 14 and a half inches, which is uh, 37 and a half centimeters. Some, uh, like the Stuva, go to uh, about 47 centimeters inside depth, which translates to 18 and a half inches. And this is the conundrum for us, and we made a decision on this last night, and this is what we came up with. So for the true scale, we have more budget and more room to get in some more detail. And as you can see here, um, all the extra detail with the, uh, these uh, panels and all that um, are possible. So we managed to get the actual uh, blueprints used uh, back in 1976 and this is one of the few times where the blueprints actually match what's uh, uh, what was made and that translates into this type of 3d uh, design and we will probably be able to pull that off even with that type of detail I'm, I'm going to say probably uh, because well it hasn't totally been proven yet but uh, the first tests look good so back to the depth problem right um, if you uh, get uh, the depth that we wanted, which was uh, those four boxes of depth, uh, which is about um, 18 and a half inches, that works great if you have an IKEA Stuvi, Suva or if you aren't limited uh, by any uh, cabinet. 
Um, but we also want to make it compatible for the IKEA Besta owners. Now, um, we've tried uh, to do to make this wall modular, and and part of that worked. So that, but but some of it didn't. So we've decided that every kit of the True Skill Deluxe will have uh, a midsection like this. Uh, both for the depth of an IKEA uh, Besta, which is this depth, as you can see, fits perfectly even with the back wall. And then another design for the other depth that is most common, uh, which is the 18 and 18 and a half inch. And we will include enough boxes for this, and that means if you use this, you'll have two boxes left. But if you say, whoa, this is cool, um, how about I uh, have my cake and eat it too and combine this with this if you're not limited by anything then you can buy an upgrade kit with a few extra boxes and another column with it which is slotted on both sides so you can fit that wall on to that wall so um, if you get the true skill uh, we wanted a no compromise so hence the two walls and the option to expand it and all the extra detailing we, uh, uh, we've added, even in the back wall, these little things. And guys, uh, most likely these LEDs will be actual LEDs. I hear some people go, yay, including me. So that's good. Uh, they will include a, um, a door option, of course, as well as the double-sided graphic if you open the door. If you want, you can also uh, indicate in the order that you want the airbrushed uh, blast damage, which limits your display options, so that's why it's not standard, but uh, it's up to you. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, the, the, the thought process and where we are with the uh, true skill prototype of the Tantive. It's gonna be huge, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be the best ever. So um, I hope to have something to show you guys by the end of May, maybe early June. Uh, so stay tuned. So back to the Detolf sized version. This was an idea coming from one of my groups where people said, is it possible to get one side open uh, if you have the deluxe Detolf version? And that's what this looks like. We'll be producing floors for that. This is one of the background graphics included in every kit. This is the other side, so if you open the door, one of these two uh, is what you can show. We also managed to laser in the gr uh, grills or vents uh, in the columns, so that's going to be standard. Uh, here you see the uh, CNC production of the actual uh, side walls and the side columns. Um, so we're making some, some really nice headway. M about half of what we needed for the first run is already at the paint shop. Uh, here you see the unpainted floor still and some custom drill bits we were making for the boxes. Uh, upgraded the materials for that too. So that's nice. And finally, here are some teasers of what else I am working on for the next release. Look at the image on my laptop. So please like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks!